Okay, go ahead. Ready? Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the Bauer 1695EB. Uh, the amps are 13, speeds is 450 to 1750 RPMs, volts 120. Uh, power cord's 9 feet and it's 16.5 pounds, so it is a heavy drill. Definitely not, uh, not a lightweight drill. This is the angle drill. I had to purchase this because I am doing the electric in my house so it comes with a really nice case all right let's open this sucker up bauer which bauer is a pretty good brand i'd put it up there with probably dewalt mm -hmm. so i would put this up against maybe a dewalt i don't really like dewalt though all right oh there is some zip ties here yeah, I'm, I'm more of a Milwaukee, Makita kind of guy, but I needed a tool that was fairly reasonable, and this was only $159 at uh, uh, Harbor Freight. So we got an operator's manual, some bushings. Uh, really nice long cord. Uh, I love that the chuck key is attached with a tether to the cord. Always love that when drills come with that so you don't lose your chuck key. So let's unwrap this big boy. Yeah, this is not at all a small drill or a lightweight drill. You can see it's it's definitely heavy, so which is nice. I love a heavy drill on this kind of thing because when you're putting the angle down on the bit, you've got weight up here to help push it down. Whereas, you know, your regular hand-held held drill, you're pushing forward. But this has some really good weight to help it anchor down into what you're pushing it through uh, so your bushlings uh let's see high and low this is probably i'll have to read the instruction now but it's got a really nice long bar uh left hand and right hand So that you could uh, hold on to it because apparently it has quite a bit of power. That's the right hand, right? This is this is for a right-handed. This is a left-handed grip. So that because uh, this will torque pretty hard, and when you're when you're going into wood, hard wood, you definitely want something to uh, hold on to because it's gonna, you know. So pretty nice switch it's got a water resistant cover on it uh, so uh, let me plug it in and you can hear it sound and I'm using this uh, to drill uh, two and three quarters inch holes so pretty, pretty big hole. All right, so. Oh yeah, pretty good. Heavy, it's got a nice palm grip here. Got some, got some decent torque to it. Uh, you don't need a lot of torque with this as far as, you know, uh, how it torques like a regular drill because you don't need it on this type of drill. But that's my review of the Bauer 1695E8 or EB.
So open this up, keep the bushings out of here. I'm sure it has some safety instructions, uh, warnings, setup, which I mean, pretty simple setup. Oh, switch direction. It has a, I did not re realize this does have a reverse. So this goes, ah, that's what that is. Okay. So it does have four in the back. I did not really read. Okay. Thank so, you. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like. I'm about to test out my Bauer drill. Uh, what I'm doing is I am drilling a two and an eighth inch hole for a for a PVC. It's a electrical grade PVC, and I couldn't get in there with the regular drill, so I had to buy this Bauer angle drill, right angle drill, so that I could get through here. Uh, and then I'm going to run about five lines at least up through my attic to rewire my lighting in all of the house so uh might have to run six lines but for now i'm going to start with five and doing pvc and then i'm going to run it up and then of course all the lines but this is a uh, just to test out my drill see how she does i got it locked down and uh, i'll be back in a second oh that sucker touch good yeah she cuts good but now I've got to back up my plywood that I'm laying on because, as you can see, eh, I can't drill straight up and down if I'm hitting the wood. I'll start to go in an angle and kink it. Don't want to do that. All right. Let's see if I can get it from a farther back angle. Let's see how we do here. And you might be wondering why I'm not wearing safety glasses. It's because it's too hot up here. And I'm sweating like crazy. And this wire, don't worry, it's not connected to electric. Otherwise I wouldn't be drilling on top of it. Power is off. clean hole <sighs> not sure if you can see that <sighs> that goes straight down through between my uh, wall between bedrooms 
perfect hole nice cut time to run the pvc up 